Hello Zebraherd, welcome back to Spyro the Reignited Trilogy. Today, we are moving on to the third and final game of the trilogy. It is Spyro, Year of the Dragon. We have fully completed Spyro 1 and 2, so it's finally time to do this. I am super duper excited, hopefully you are too. Let's get started. An evil plot unfolds. Ooh, what's gonna happen now? Is Ripto gonna come back? Or maybe Nasty Nork, I have no clue. I know nothing about this one. I'm really excited. Oh, the dragons are sleeping with the eggs. I was wondering what happened to those things. Wait, was that Hunter next to Spyro there? Oh, who is this? Who are these guys? No, wait, no, don't take the eggs, you monsters. This is not good. What is this lady doing? Oh, whoa. Uh-oh, busted. <laughs> Come on, get him, Spyro. Get her, stop her. Oh, darn it, dude, you got in the way. <laughs> That's silly. Okay, well, a powerful villain emerges. That little bunny lady really stealing eggs? You say so. We managed to capture the eggs, your highness. Every last one. Excellent. Maybe you will amount to something after all. Rude. Now go guard the tunnels. Stop anyone from coming through. She does not look powerful, but okay. Oh, it's Zoe. Are we back in Avalar? I have no clue. Weird. A desperate rescue begins. There's lots going on here. Uh. Oh yeah, get him out of there. Oh, hey. Where are the eggs? The holes came out on the other side of the dragon worlds. We found some of the eggs, but they were too heavy to carry back. The other side of the world? The Forgotten Realms. Spyro, you'll have to go. Nobody else can fit down the holes. Yeah, come on, let's go! Oh, come on. <laughs> nice dive. Oh, that didn't work out so well. <laughs> oh. See ya, Honor. Find the eggs and bring them back, Spyro. You're our only chance. You got it. Yeah. All right, in we go. So this one actually takes place in the Dragon World and not in Avalar, but it looks like some of our friends from Avalar has made, have made it over. And look at that. Oh man, is this game pretty already. That is so cool. Okay, so let's just get started picking up some gems. It looks like we have 400 to get around here. And this one's all about the dragon eggs again. How exciting is that? Man, oh man. See, I don't know where Laura is. Maybe she's just doing busy stuff. Can we swim? No, we can't. So we have to like re-get our abilities from Spyro too. That's sort of a shame. Thought that maybe we would hold on to those, but no, we still have this move. We had the slam. Okay, wonder if money bags will be making an appearance then. I mean, maybe I just did it wrong. Maybe this just isn't very deep water. That might also be the case. Okay, never mind. Uh, but for now, grab some of this stuff. Hey, got our first extra life. I'm gonna need plenty of these lives. So there's our. Fifth one already, cool. Okay, so looking around here. Oh, I love this music. There's a lot of cool stuff going on. Oh, and here's our first egg, right? Isabel, oh, they all have names, just like the, uh... oh, they're so cute. <laughs> all right, well, we saved Isabel. So instead of saving dragons like we did in Spyro 1, we're saving baby dragons. I'm already really liking this one. The cute factor is even higher than normal. That's a good sign. Okay, let's gra grab some of these gems. I like how the gem counter is a different color on the top left. It sort of has a red tinge to it. Hi. Hi, Spyro. To look left or right, use the right stick. To quickly center the camera behind you, tap the center camera button. You can also look all around by pressing the action button. Gotcha. So some basic camera stuff we know all about. So use the R to rotate the camera, tap L2 button to center the camera, and press triangle button to look around. Gotcha. We're very familiar with all of that, so we're fine. Okay, so let's get some more gems. Got this one right over this way. And ooh, 
What's going on? Wait, what's that? Whoa, rainbow. So, you're the one in charge of rescuing the eggs, huh? <laughs> How sad. Look here, dragon. If you know what's good for you, you'll turn around and crawl back into that hole you came through. Those eggs belong to us now, and I've hidden them in places you'll never find in a thousand years. Besides, even if you could find any eggs, our expertly trained armies would hunt you down and take them back. Do I make myself clear? If I find you here again, I am going to be very angry, and you won't like me when I'm angry. We'll have to see about that. I'm already one egg down. All right, well, goodbye. <laughs> she does seem pretty powerful, but you know what? We, you know, we, we do a lot for being just such a small dragon. Anyways, we got lots of work to do if that's the case. Can we bust these rocks? No, okay, had to make sure. <laughs> but yeah, looks like we got a lot to do. This area, this original, or this starting overworld area, Oh no, look who came crawling out of Avalar. Spyro, my my, how funny to see you here. Why, I haven't seen you since we defeated Ripto in Avalar. <laughs> well, my business went into a slump after you left, so I came here and struck up a nice deal with the local sorceress. Lovely woman she is. Seems to be very fond of dragons too. Yeah, that's one way to put it. The sorceress has asked me to guard Sheila the kangaroo. I suppose if you had a bit more money, I'd be willing to let her escape. Then you could keep her for a pet or something. Uh, sure. 300 gems to save Sheila here. I'll do what I can. Poor Sheila, just all caged up. The sorceress has asked me to guard Sheila the kangaroo. I suppose if you had a bit more money, I'd be willing okay, to- Okay, yep, I already heard this. Uh, so we need to get 300 gems as soon as possible. Nobody deserves life in a cage. I wouldn't wish that on anybody. Anyways, let's check everything out. I think I got everything. Oh, there's another dragon egg. A thousand years to find that. Yeah, right, lady. Okay, um, so we'll do everything we can. This is so pretty. Like, I gotta really just take this in because it is beautiful. Like, I know all three have been beautiful, but there's something about this area. Super duper pretty. Because I've seen, like, a screenshot or two or Spyro 3. I don't think I had, like, a demo. I never really played of it. But I remember thinking that it was particularly pretty for a PlayStation 1 game. And this is sort of making that true, because like it makes that already pretty area even prettier. And hey, look, it's Hunter. How are you doing? Yo, Spyro. I just found one of those portal thing in the jigs that leads to a different world. But you'll have to glide to get across to it. Press the jump button, then press jump again while you're in the air to glide. Just follow me. Gotcha, okay. So press the X button to jump, then press X jump and again in mid-air to glide, which we know all about. Whoa, Spyro, where are you going? But we know how to glide, we know how to do the little flutter thing, so we should be good with everything. To yep. get the... All right, uh, so before we do that, I'm gonna ignore him and get some of these gems. Got a good couple of them. So we're at 137, we're almost halfway there for the kangaroo. And then there's actually a level here. I mean, there was a level over there as well. We're not gonna tackle the levels just yet, just like in Spyro 2, we wanna go through the overworld. I saw something shiny in that cave over there. Let's go check it out. You can get there by hovering. To hover, just press the action button at the end of your glide. Gotcha. All right, well, we know all about that as well. Just wanna grab that gem, and we should be good, ready, whoop, made it. Oh, I almost forgot, I found this egg. Oh yeah, ooh, Coltrane. So this is our second egg. Oh, he's adorable. So it looks like they don't do as much as the Spyro 1 dragons where they can talk to you and stuff, but that's fine with me. Okay, so it looks like we're going down this way. Hi, Zoe. Ooh. This is a super fly power-up, Spyro. Whenever you walk through any power-up that looks like this one, it will allow you to fly for a while. We didn't even have to defeat enemies to get it. Cool, so I can go ahead and use this. If I wanted to, which I don't quite want to right away. I wanted to grab all this stuff. Why would I want to fly away from all this? Plenty of rewards to get. This is such a cool looking cave. I love it. Okay, yeah, get over this way. And there we go, it ends real fast. So I don't really know what the benefit of this one is. I'm sure there's something. We'll go and check it out once I get all the gems. But for right now, if I can get all the gems on the floor, yeah, it looks like there's no proper way out from here. So maybe if I flew. So let me get back over there. No problemo. Still can't dive under the water, but I still think it's very shallow water, so that might be the issue. So now that we're flying, I think I can... Is there an exit? Yes, there is. Oh yeah, and this is where we'll find dragon egg number three, it's Amy. All right, hello, Amy. Aw, oh, so cute. Got a little bows on their horn. 
So there we go, that was pretty good. But there's still more to explore yet. If I go this way, past all these yellow trees and stuff. Oh, the lighting here is so cool. I love that. We'll get a nice purple gem over that way. And grab some of these. Is Hunter over here as well? He is, okay, he's been waiting for us. Hi Hunter, how are you doing? I see an egg at the bottom of this lake. I would go get it, but I don't want to get my fur all wet. Maybe you could get it. You can dive underwater by pressing the charge button when you're on the surface, and charge underwater by holding down charge as well. Gotcha. So we already know how to swim, so we really did bring over all of our moves from Spyro 2. Most games don't do that. They'll make it relearn it all. Do you like the active camera mode? If not, I can set it back to the passive mode. No, I'm fine. Okay, I won't change it. Remember, you can change the camera mode yourself by using the options menu. Okie doke. Thank you for the offer. Hello, who are you? I'm late for a dinner party at the Tiki Lodge, and the portal to my home just stopped working. Maybe the portal will reactivate after a few more dragons hitch. Sounds good to me. 10 eggs are needed to open this portal. So this portal right here will not open unless we get 10 eggs. So there are some levels we just can't access right away. That's interesting. Not really the case in Spyro 1 or 2. In Spyro 2, there were some levels, you know, sort of, oh, can I do this? Yeah, there we go. That's Liam in there too, cool. I like it. Oh, he's the chubby one. Oh, don't cry, Liam, it's okay. Oh, but in Spyro 2, there were some levels that were blocked off by money bags. You had to pay him a certain amount to get into it, but beyond, there weren't really too many barricades in front of getting into a level. Oh, get all these sheep. All four of them just running around in a little herd like that. I love it. Okay. So what did we miss over here? We got a purple gem, and then we can dive under the water, try to get some of that stuff. Might be better to focus on stuff that's out of the water first, like, oh, this is where we can go to the next area, I suppose. All right, then. So it seems like this game so far is really mixing between Spyro 2 and Spyro 1 in a really cool way, and I can't wait to see how that unfolds a little bit more. This sign says something about Sparks. Spyro, I've got a special task for Sparks. Meet me back here later. Okay, interesting. So what does later mean in this circumstance? I guess we'll find out later. What is this guy gonna say? Hi. Here I was, about to go for a nice swim at Shell Beach, when my portal just up and disappears right in front of me. If you go find some more of those dragon eggs, I bet this portal would start working again. Gotcha, so we need 14 eggs for this one. Quite a lot of eggs. We only have, what, four so far, so. We got some work ahead of us, so before we go that way, we'll, we'll dive underwater, we'll deal with some of this stuff. Got plenty of gems, and apparently there's a dragon egg, so that'll be our fifth one. So we'll be halfway to opening up that one level, and I'm sure that in the levels themselves, I'm sure there's bound to be um, different eggs to get in there as well. Like, I don't know how many eggs there'll be in total, but I'm sure it'll be quite a lot, and here it is! It's Bruce! Hello, Bruce! Ah, hope you can breathe underwater, <laughs> or at least that you can swim. Five out of five for this area. Okay, so it looks like there, it will tell me about that, all five of them. Egg by the stream, learn gliding, fly through the cave, bottom of the lake, and head botch through the rock. And now we just have to do a couple more gems and we're good. That is awesome. Things are turning out really well so far. Not being barricaded by things we don't have abilities for, you know? So very, very awesome. Just got a couple more gems around here. And then we can go save Sheila the kangaroo. That was her name, right? That would be good. Okay, yeah, hop up this way. Really impressed by this opening overworld. It, it's really cool. I don't know how many levels will be. I mean, it seems like there is not a ton of levels, like a decent little chunk of levels. There's that one, the other two. Yeah, I mean, it definitely seems smaller than Spyro 2's overworlds. I'm not really sure though. Anyways, we're gonna fly back this way because we have 393, so I'm missing some somewhere. Sparks does say I'm missing some. Over that way, okay. Sparks, help me out here, buddy. This way, then? Did I miss him underwater? It doesn't look like it. Oh, you know what? Okay, I grabbed one there. Were they on the tree? This way? Okay, that was the one gem I was missing there. Gotcha. I don't think they're in this building. I think that they're on the other side. So I probably just missed a couple in the grass. Yeah, I definitely missed a couple on the grass. So we had to go back that way anyways to go get Sheila, so we might as well, we're only missing two gems. So it's probably just a green one sitting around somewhere that I missed out on. Okay, what about now? Over this way? Okay, yeah, I, I gotta keep going. Uh, That way now. Okay. Oh, right here, perfect. There we go, 400 out of 400, and then perfect timing. 
Here is Sheila. I'm getting paid a fortune to keep Sheila the kangaroo locked up. <laughs> this pesky animal must have been causing a lot of trouble for that poor sorceress. I suppose I could accidentally let the kangaroo escape. If you were to pay me, say, a small fee. Oh, good. Small fees. You bet I will. 300 gems. Ah, Spyro. I love your sweet naivete. Your kind-hearted nature might be your downfall someday. But for the time being, it's making me rich. All right. Well, how are you doing? <laughs> I uh, hope you appreciate this favor I'm doing in letting you out. That's good of you, mate. No hard feelings, eh? Right. After all, I'm just doing my job. Yeah. Oh, see ya. You deserve that. I reckon you'd be one of them dragons then. Yeah, named Spyro. Never thought I'd see one. You dragons used to rule this entire world, you know. Then all of a sudden you left. Poof. Dragons used to live here? Didn't you know? They say it was over a thousand years ago, I think. And they just left? Yeah. And the weird thing is, after they left, all the magic in the world just sort of went with them. I mean, they say this world used to have magic coming out of the wazoo. Flying ships, singing forests, wishing stones, you name it. But when the dragons left, it all just dried up. Is that why some of the portals don't work? Yeah, they're starting to fade out too, one by one. Weird. Well, I gotta get back home and do some damage control. Come visit anytime you like. Huh, so at some point dragons lived here as well, but I think that most of the dragons just live on the other side of the world now. Anyways, that was pretty cool. We should have enough time to tackle a couple levels. Let's try Sunny Villa and hope everything turns out well here. I'm having a lot of fun so far. This is really cool. So, yep, we have 100 gems left over from everything after spending 300. And we got, you know, the, op the overworld fully completed. Very exciting. So, I, so far, when it comes to the organization of the levels, I'm liking it more than I did Spyro 2. Not to say that I didn't like Spyro 2, it was just a little bit more confusing. And, oh, hello. Oh my, oh my, can you help us? Hordes of ferocious Rhinox have overrun our town and kidnapped the mayor. Uh, sure, the mayor. We'll have to save him. Are you a dragon? Yep. I can't believe your kind really exists. Well, they do. Okay, so we'll have to help these guys out in their town. How many gems do we have? 400 gems and one, two, three, four, five, six different eggs to find. That might be a bit of a challenge. But I bet you if we destroy all these shrubs, we'll get a skill point, right? Okay, so I don't really don't know too much more about this game, but if you guys know a lot about it, be sure to let me know. Have you played this game? What are your thoughts on it in the Reignited Trilogy? All that kind of cool stuff. I would love to hear all about it. Now, I gotta make sure I take out all the frogs or anything that might give us butterflies because I want to start earning up lives from them soon enough as well. These enemies seem pretty easy so far. They just sort of cower. Just let me catch my breath and then I'll kick that other guy's butt. Okay. Just. So is he gonna open this door for us? I suppose not. Anyways, we can just beat these guys up for now. I think these were the guys that stole the eggs too. Ooh, I don't like him even more now. Get him out of here. There we go. So I'll just have to search every area. I, I don't know, it's something about this feels way more brighter than Spyro 1 or 2. I mean, I mean, maybe not Spyro 1. Definitely Spyro 2, I feel like had some darker levels to them. But I might be totally full of baloney. I don't know. Okay, anything up here? Not looking like it. Okay, we're making some good progress though. Got one more gem here, a couple more frogs to take out. Oh, I missed this one. So I can't get through that door, then I might as well focus on this direction. This area looks so cool though, I like it. Whoa, get you out of here. It seems like a lot of people, their favorite is Spyro 3 though, so I've really been looking forward to this one out of all of them. Hi. This Rhinox is too big to charge. You'll have to flame him using the attack button. Don't worry, I've been doing it already. So, boom, gotcha. Sometimes flaming them is easier than charging them, to be honest with you, so it's usually my go-to. But what is this way? Oh, there's like a whole set of things over this way, okay. Hmm, get rid of you. Just trying to make sure that we, you know, comb over every inch of the land so we can get all the gems. Get rid of you two at the same time, cool, the combos going on. These shrubs definitely will help us with some kind of skill point, which hey, if I can get that now, you know, saves me some time later. You know, I don't intentionally look for those, but I just spent like an hour before this episode getting more of them or getting skill points for Spire 2, so I'm sort of in like skill point mode right now, you know? Okay, let's grab these. I did see that egg back there. I just wanted to grab everything else beforehand. 
And that looks good, okay. Let's go and grab that egg. It's the first of six, so got plenty of work ahead of us. It is Vanessa. Oh, hello, Vanessa. You are adorable. They definitely don't have as much design traits as the, the, the dragons from Spyro 1, which is a bit of a disappointment, but it's okay. We'll live. Okay, so what's going on down here? We got a couple more gems and then we'll go talk to Zoe. But I think I've cleared out all this area pretty well. And got the shrub. Hi! Hi, Spyro. Each time a fairy zaps you, like this. Yep. It means your progress has been saved. If you get into trouble, you'll return to the last place you got zapped. All right, sounds good. So we got that taken care of. Now I can make my way down here so if more people beat me up. Luckily, we haven't taken any damage yet. We've been doing real well. Where do you think you're running off to? What's happening? Whoa, whoa, big chicken being chased by an even bigger guy. Oh no, poor chicken, what, what just happened? I do not know, we'll have to figure that out later. Right now though, got other things to worry about. Gotta pick up all these gems. Already doing decent with the gems, I'm at 150. You know, at 200 will be halfway there. Okay, oh, here's another one of these guys. Whoa, I'm dizzy. All right, we'll help you, don't worry. Boop, wait, leave the little guy alone. Hello. Thanks for the help. But I think I could have worn him down sooner or later. If you say so. So do they drop gems now? Do the enemies, I, didn't, I haven't been paying attention to that. I sure hope they drop gems, because I feel like that's way more rewarding, personally, than when they dropped orbs. We're about to find out, because I actually haven't been looking for it, even though I should have been. Because one wasn't there one last guy? Yeah, over this way. So let's go ahead and torch him. <laughs> he drops gems, yes! Oh, that is so cool. I just, I love that so much more. They really felt like they combined Spyro 1 and 2, the best of them. Thank you for rescuing our town. As mayor, I awarded you with one of our famous giant chicken eggs. Yay, it's not a chicken egg, is it? Nope. <laughs> All right, it's Sanders. Hello, Sanders. You are adorable. <laughs> are you doing the chicken dance? Oh, that is cute. I'm sorry. That was the ugliest chicken I've ever seen. It wasn't a chicken, it was a dragon. And he's going to run into there. Okay, cool. Don't know why he did that, but he did. Anyways, there's more to this level. We're gonna try to get it as close as we can to 100% before we move on. Hmm. Oh, got that. That's gonna be an extra life. Eight lives in total. What is this? What? Whoa. Whoa! It's a skate park. Hi. Hey, Spyro. I found this gladiator training arena that also makes for a pretty cool skate park. Care for a test of your boarding skills? Oh my gosh, yes. You have some pretty cool jeans, by the way. Uh, start the boarding challenge out, yes. I bet you can't catch all 15 lizards running around here. Just come back if you want some boarding tips from the master. I will. Catch the lizards. Okay. So, we still have four more eggs to get, though. Weird, and there's plenty more gems. This is so cool! Oh, look at Skateboard and Spyro! Oh my gosh, and can you do tricks? I bet you you can. So we're supposed to get these lizards. Oh, and I can torch midair. Okay, so this is, oh, this is so cool. This is so stinking cool. We got 15 of these guys to catch. These guys were in the Spyro 2 art, though. Maybe they were in Spyro 2 as well. I don't really remember. Oh, this is so cool, though. Can I go with this? You bet I can. <laughs> I think they took a, a page out. Ow, ooh! That was not good. That hurt. But, yeah, I know Spyro should wear a helmet, shouldn't he? <laughs> um. We were able to get the little thing. So there's like little moves we can make. Like if we hop up, <laughs> that is so cool. I like it. But yeah, it looks like they took a couple pages out of a Tony Hawk Pro Skater, which was very popular around the time this game come, came out, I'd have to imagine. So you gotta dodge all those things, all the training racks. Okay, so it seems like there are plenty of gems to get around here. I mean, I'm sure I could run around here without the board. And that might help. I mean, obviously, I don't think I could catch up to these guys without the board, so that's like sort of the big benefit of it. And maybe he'll give us an egg for this, I'd have to imagine. Would you think Hunter should give us the eggs no matter what, but he's, he's weird. Okay, whoa! Okay, I gotta get this guy, ow! Fell again. So now it's much harder to get around. But it makes it easier to find the gems if I needed to. Cause I don't think I could, yeah, catch up to that guy unless I'm on the skateboard. So luckily, there's a skateboard thing we can get right there, ow. Come on, that one. That one shouldn't have counted. Okay, I'm getting you. I'm getting you. Boom. And whoa, major jump. 
I don't know why I didn't do like the little half pipe thing there. Yeah, I go up in the air like that. Okay. Ooh. So I still have four more I'm trying to get somewhere. I don't know exactly where they are. But for now I can grab a couple of gems. And try looking around. Okay, I see two guys over that way. So let me just do this one more time because we still have a couple more gems. Like this one, that one, and that one. Awesome. So now we're getting really close. We're at 241 out of 400. I mean, really close. I mean, we're getting there. <laughs> Whoop. I got him, that's 12 out of 15. Grab that one. We are really bringing up speed now. Or building up speed. Let's try this jump. Where is this gonna lead me? Whoa, way over here. Come on, get him. Oh, there's two of them. We can get him, we can get him. Got him, and his friend too. Perfect. Can we slow down at all? Ah, we can't really. <laughs> okay, we're looking for one more. Let me stand here and try to get a good look at everything. Oh, he's right up that way. How do I reach that? Oh, I see, that's sort of like a ramp. Okay, so I'd have to find a way around there. Hold on, not what I was looking for. There we go, I got that gem. Good, and then grab these few out as well. Oh no, I am all over the place. I'm not very good on the skateboard so far. How do I get back up? Oh, just over here, okay. So there should be another ramp I haven't really taken this way. I can jump off of that and torch him and there's all 15. Hey, that was great. And while you were boarding, I found this in a lizard burrow. Okay, cool. So we got Emily, Ah, Hello, Emily. <laughs> ah, that's cute. All right, so. Oh. All right, if you can catch all the lizards before time expires without wiping out, I might be able to scrounge up another egg. Ooh. It's not gonna be easy, though. So all the lizards without we'll wiping him, out. Spyro. So if they're all in the same spot, then that shouldn't be too bad, because I sort of know where they all are now. I mean, some of them were a little bit tough. But I should be okay, overall. So I'll be looking for them, and we also have to do it within a time limit. That's sort of the more difficult thing. So let me fly up here, and definitely get that guy. Oh gosh, woohoo, that was almost a wipeout. We are moving real fast now. Come on, got him. Keep moving, keep moving. Ooh, got him again. This is quite an awesome first level to the game though. Like what a way to introduce it. Like have Spyro just ride on a skateboard. That's really cool, you know? Okay, get this guy if I can. Got him. Is there any dude up here? I suppose not. I know there's a dude up here. Whoa, whoa, that was weird. I didn't do the thing I, was, I thought I was gonna do. Weird. Um, There's this guy. I think I got rid of all those dudes there. Hard to tell. I know there's that guy hanging out up up there, there in the air. But in the meantime, I haven't jumped here. So if this is two dudes, then I think we'll be good. Yep, it is, okay, cool. So, got him, and got him, perfect. So the last guy is right there, I know exactly how to get to him. As long as I don't crash, I should be fine. Let's leave the crash in the crash bandicoot. <laughs> so go around like this, and then jump off of that one, and get ourselves, perfect. Whoa, that was sweet. And look, there was another egg in the lizard burrow. All right, it's Daisy. Cute. Hello, Daisy. Oh, you're chasing your tail. I love it. Okay, so that's nine eggs in total, but we're still looking for two. Hop to Rapunzel and then the other one. I don't know where Rapunzel is, but there should be a couple more gems waiting around. Oh, I don't know why it's a timer right now. Not what I want. You know what, I wanna crash real fast so that we can have Sparks look around for some gems, because that's really what I'm focused on at the moment. Like, there's one right here. And he's saying there's another one this way? Oh, yep, these up here. I keep on missing out on these ones. So let's grab this one, and that one, and this one. And now he's just telling me to leave. Okay, perfect. That means that we should be good with everything through here. And I'm going through the portal with the skateboard. Ah, oh, I can't take the skateboard with me. That's a shame. Okay, so yeah, what more can I do around here? I feel like I've pretty thoroughly explored, but I'm still missing two eggs. There's the exit. Wait, where is he telling me to go right now? Return home? No, he's not, okay. <laughs> he's just telling me to go around again. I like, I, can I not open these? Oh, it's the chicken. Hi, chicken. Can I talk to you? Look, a chicken turned up. I hope it's not the only one left. Uh, Me too. Look, is that it? 
I suppose so. <laughs> Don't have anything else to say. Okay, he's gonna chase that guy. So it said it's still over this way that the uh, gems hanging out somewhere around here. Okay, here's one right here. Now where? This way. Okay, yeah, this is where things get weird. Like maybe I missed out on something over this way. Up there, ooh. I mean, it might be something I can't access just yet, but I don't know that for certain. So I just need to keep looking around. No, I can definitely get up from here. I just missed that. Yeah, okay. I just gotta hop up here, ow. Hop up here, yeah, I just totally missed all of this. I'm, I'm just bad at games. Got it, and now we're at the top of here. Whee! Ooh, and I see those gems in the distance. I'll grab those soon enough. But before I do, oh no. Oh, oh, ah. <laughs> Not what I meant to do. Okay, get back up. Got it, got it, and got it. I was gonna just go around the whole perimeter to try to get more gems, because it definitely looked like there was more I can get that way. Like, let's go to the right. Oh, nothing, okay. So from here, there's something as well. Oh, I need Sheila. Well, I have Sheila, right? Spyro, thanks for dropping by, but I'm currently busy in my home world. Come visit me there. Gotcha. So can I not do anything here? Like, is there something I'm supposed to be able to do that I can't do? Hmm, I'm not sure. Let's try getting back this way. Ooh, I might be able to make it. Uh, nah, not quite, oh well. So let's get up, up again. And then we'll just we'll just dive straight across. So I don't know if like Sheila shows up there. What what happened there? Oh come on! <laughs> if Sheila shows up later, if we go to her home world, yeah, I guess we just missed her. I know. Well, she said she'd be at the Alp, so I we might actually have to res not respond. You know, come back. You know what I mean? <laughs> there we go. And got it. And there's another shrub up this way, and another dragon egg. This is Miles. Hi, Miles. Another green dragon. Oh, he called his egg. Nice catch. I don't know if that was actually what was happening there visually. It sort of looked like it. Still not all the shrubs. Oh no, it is. Skill point acquired. Awesome. So we're still looking for Hop to Rapunzel. Where in the world is Rapunzel? And we're still missing 90 gems. I really do think that maybe there's something we can't do here without Sheila. Yeah, he's definitely pointing up there. So unfortunately, I can't do that yet, but maybe later in today's episode, if things go well. So for right now, let us head out of here and, oh, we hi. showed those two bullies. If they hadn't outnumbered me two to one, I'd have finished them off ages ago. I'm sure you would have. Okay, so yeah, let's return home for now. We'll go to the Alps and we'll do that level as well and see how things go. The one thing I'm missing though is there aren't cutscenes for the levels anymore. I mean, I can understand that was probably a lot of work, but man, I sort of missed that part. <laughs> That's for sure. But we're returning to Sunrise Spring. Okay, so we're gonna move all the way over to Sheila's Alp and hopefully that'll help out. I'm not really sure how this whole Sheila thing works, but best way, to, best thing to do is go in. So like maybe once we help her out at her Alp, Sheila's Alp, yeah, that's what it is. Um, maybe she'll just show up to whatever level we need to. We need for a kangaroo to be an Alp though. Like aren't they usually in Australia? Are there really are too many mountains in Australia? I'm not really sure. Oh, hi! Thanks again, Spyro. Now I have to find out what that nasty sorceress has done to my home while I was locked up. Yeah, me too, I guess. Oh. Hiya, Sheila. While you were gone, a bunch of rhinox kicked us out of our houses. It's okay, though. Bobby, Pete, and I are working on a clever plan to take them back. What? Wait, do- Whoa! We get to play as somebody that's not Spyro? Oh, that's so cool! Oh, that is so cool. So what are we doing here? I mean, first I can beat up you, and Sparks follows us around too. Hi. Follow Bobby and Pete up there using your air hop. It's easy. Just press the jump button again at the top of your jump. Okay, so she has a double jump. Whoa. That is such a cool idea. No, no, wait. Oh, I almost missed. So she's like Coco from Crash, sort of in a way. Whoa. Do I have like a charge jump? Whoa, that is cool, we have like a triple jump. Okay, let's beat up these bad guys if I can. Nice, she has a cool kangaroo kick. And get rid of this little, what is that, like a dodo bird? I have no clue. There we go. She's definitely a bit slower, but that's fine. Hello. You can get up really steep cliffs like this one with your double jump. Press the jump button, then press it again exactly when you hit the ground to do a double jump. Once you've mastered it, you can go anywhere you want. 
Sounds good. Jump again exactly when you land to double jump. Wow, that is so cool. So there was this area over here. Let's go up here first. Ooh, is there like a slam? There has to be a slam then. There it is, boom! We get a couple gems out of that one. Oh, a 25 as well. How many gems do we gotta get? 400, and we got three eggs to get. All right, cool. Oh my gosh, I love this idea. It's so much fun just to be able to play as somebody who isn't Spyro. Like, I love Spyro, don't get me wrong, but it's just refreshing to play as a new character. Okay, got up here. I mean, I really liked it when they did that in Jack and Daxter. They allowed you to play as Daxter in like some of Jack 3, and that was always really cool. Hi. Ah, home at last. Here, I was saving this to make an omelet, but I think you deserve it more. Oh, oh, hey, it's an egg. Oh, thank goodness he didn't use this to make an omelet. It's Ruby. Ooh. Hi, Ruby. Hi. Ruby's already catching the hang of flying. All right, so what's going on in here? Well, first off, we got another one of these little, oh gosh, reindeer's attacking us. That, that sort of hurt a little bit, gotta be careful. That's our first bit of damage taken, I think. Can we swim? No, okay, that's fine, that's fine. Hi, how are you? This next guy is a wuss. You go ahead and take him out, we'll get you back. Oh, they'll, they'll back us up? This next guy is a wuss. You go ahead and take him out. <laughs> she says the same thing, the twins. Okay, ready? <coughs> Doesn't seem like you guys had my back, but okay. I handled it, no problem. Come on, wait, can I get up here? Oh, you bet I can. Sort of hidden by the rocks, but not too hidden for me not to find. So there's lots of gems again, in very quick succession. Like we already almost at 100, or 200 I mean, halfway through. And then we can break these rocks, so that's a couple more gems for us. So I think we're supposed to, wait, which way are we supposed to get to? I'll talk to this guy first. Hello. Don't worry, I'll just keep kicking this rock until it breaks. I don't know if you're trying to be nice or if you're trying to be sarcastic. There you go. Hey, Sheila, let's play a joke. Take this egg and smash it on Billy's house, okay? I need to get him back for the last time he butted me off the cliff. Not happening. Instead, we get Jenny. Hello, Jenny. Oh, I like your glasses. You're also <laughs> doing the chicken dance. <laughs> All right, then. 12 eggs. So, uh, let's get up here and bust some of these as well. We're doing really good on gems. For this level might be a little bit shorter since it's like some kind of specialty level. I don't know if this is the only time we get to play as Sheila. I would hope not, dude. Get out of here, be gone. Okay, what about these things? Oh, we can just bust these open, no problem. Ooh, this area's pretty. Those Rhinox have taken over. There'll be no stopping them unless we can smash their huts. They're too big to smash with your kick attack though. Try using your stomp attack to smash them instead. I'll confuse the Rhinox with taunts while you stomp their huts, okay? Okay. You remember how to stomp, don't you? Just jump, then press the action button in the air. Okay, smash the huts with your stomp move, eliminate the Rhinox. <laughs> so it looks like we got a couple of these guys, and then we can just stomp them. I mean, I think that the idea is that they'll keep coming out. So let's just get rid of the huts first, and then I can worry about them afterwards, because they're not really even trying to attack me at the moment. Ow, ooh, no, that guy attacked me. Ooh, that's scary, because I haven't, I think Sparks is gone. So you know what? I might have to run over here real fast and get that, thank you. Okay, Sparks is back. So I need to slam onto this one. I think that's the last one. So all I gotta do now is beat you guys up. Plenty of gems to get, too. Ooh, so many gems. Go ahead and boom, got you as well. Get your friend, too. See, now you guys aren't gonna beat me up as much. Got it. Okay, so we got tons of gems. So if money bags needs anything, I think we'll be able to have it covered. That'd be good. Okay, there's more stuff this way. Got another one of these guys. Those guys are usually the problem. Oh, and you. Sorry, I had to do it. I needed the extra health. Get an extra gem into that rock. And then looks like just about everything over this way. Got a really cool view. Another couple of gems hidden. Come on, Sparks, help me out with this one. Oh, hello. Thanks for the help, Sheila. Ooh, you can have this egg I found in my house. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Didn't have anything to say for this one. It's Nan. Hello, Nan. Hada. <laughs> Cute. All right, three out of three for this area. That's awesome. And I guess we can return home now. If you ever forget how to control a character or vehicle, just go to the pause menu and select controls. 
Oh, really? Let's take a look. Uh, guidebook, maybe? Options, controls, control scheme. Ah, here we go, okay, awesome. So 90%, I still need 20, 80 more gems, actually? Not 79? Oh, ooh, right here, right here. And they thought they had me fooled. I didn't think so. So what's going on in this whole area? Yeah, I mean, we got all three of the eggs, but it looks like there's plenty more gems to get, and I'm gonna try to, of course, as I did Spyro 1 and 2, 100% complete everything. It just might take some time to figure everything out. And then butt slam on these two, or not. But that wasn't, that was it? Oh no, there's more. All right, got it. And then slam on that. That's still not enough. Yeah, we're still at only 341. That's a little concerning. So I missed out big time on something somewhere. So I have to like sort of backtrack through the level now. That is not good, because <laughs> there's a lot to travel here. So we gotta go all the way back, but that should be not too big of a deal now that we've taken care of all the enemies. Oh, oh, I missed this one up here. Definitely get that. I don't know why Sparks isn't pointing that thing out. And an extra life too. Cool, so there's another couple of extra gems. That is 365 out of 400. And an extra life, bringing us up to 11. So where is Sparks gonna point me out to now? This way? Did one fall? Or is it just hiding behind the tree? Ooh, that's a sneaky spot for it. Okay, now what? This way. So I think that's actually gonna be closer to the beginning of the level, if that's the case. Oh, let me get you as well. I'm trying to get some extra lives out of those guys when I have the chance. Okay, now that I'm in here, where are you gonna point out to? This way. Ooh, yeah, this rock. How'd I miss this one? <laughs> this one's clear as day. Got it. And this way. Ooh, another one I missed. And I thought I was playing well. Oh, there's another guy here. Okay, ready, ready? Boom. That's good. Ooh, give me this. That's another good couple of gems right there. Stomping target practice, cool. So we're missing five gems. Gonna be down this way. Gotcha. Where exactly? Right down here? It must have been, I just missed, missed those. How embarrassing. All right, super cool. So it looks like we got this level 100% complete. I just gotta go back to the exit. All right, we made it. Let's return home, and hopefully we can catch up with Spyro there. I really don't know what's gonna go on now. But I can only hope that Sheila can help us on that first level. That's really all I'm looking for now. We'll have to find out as we return to Sunrise Spring. I like Sunrise Spring. This is a great first area. I'm having a real good time with it. And I think that we'll just, you know, focus on the sunny area, like the area we did before this level. Um, try to complete that, and then in the next episode, we'll fully 100% complete this whole overworld. That'll probably be my goal. So we'll have to see how that turns out. But for right now, Sheila's out, finished. Oh, hey, what's going on? How do they not notice her? She's right there. She's so sneaky. Be careful, Spyro. Oh, he smells something's not right. Oh, and he tripped Hunter. <laughs> oh, busted. <laughs> Look out, Hunter. It's the scary sorceress. I've warned you already. This place isn't safe for small dragons and pussy cats. Thanks, but I think we can look after ourselves. Try looking after this. Whoa, watch out! Whoa, what happened? Oh, are you okay, Hunter? Yikes. How rude. Hey, you better run. Oh, Spyro's torching you. <laughs> Come back when you finish witch school, okay? Say, is it just me, or is she kind of cute when she's angry? Oh, he's got a crush already. All right, so level 100% complete. So where is she now? I don't know. I mean, she the, the sun said before that she was in her home world, so I'm gonna go back to the Sunset Villa and see if she's not there now. But that was interesting, seeing the uh, sorceress there causing a problem for us, and she's still, oh no, it doesn't matter if she's still not here, because the door's open now. Come on in, Sheila. Okay, awesome, let's go ahead and check this out. Hey, Spyro. There are Rhinox everywhere. Maybe I can find some peace and quiet at the top of this tower. Maybe you can. Uh, am I supposed to help you out with this? Oh, yeah. Alas, I have lost my love. She's being guarded by evil Rhinox at the top of yonder tower. Can you rescue her for me? I'll try. So, on the top of yonder tower. So yeah, this is where we save, Save Rapunzel, okay. So we just gotta hop down this way and beat some of these guys up, and there's plenty of gems to get because of that, I'm sure. So, to try our best. 
All right, am I already messing gems? Yep, <laughs> I already am. So I gotta be careful about that. I'm trying to do this as thoroughly as I can so I don't have to backtrack, because we still have 75 gems left to get. Or maybe 85, yeah. No, yeah, 85. <laughs> so we'll do what we can about all that. Man, this game is so cool so far. Like I'm just, there's something about it. It has like some really cool things going on with it. Like this might end up becoming my favorite one. Who knows? But we'll have to wait and see for now. Okay, so going down this way. Oh, we got, we got this dude. Kick him. Yeah, good job, good job. So what? Where are we going now? I think up here. Yeah. Okay. Keep hopping up. Hopping up a little bit more. Oh, I hop too high. We get rid of more of these Rhinox. I feel like Rhinox is a name or for an enemy that it's in a different game or something. Like Rhinox sounds really familiar. Who knows? Anyways, let's get up here. And we seem to be doing okay. Get rid of this dude. Perfect. And I think that's almost everything. I mean, so so far. Because we still have another good couple of gems to get. Got to get to the top of this tower. Get rid of you. Definitely getting rid of all the enemies is actually important again. I mean, it was important before to unlock the level up things, but if you had the uh, the power up thing, and if you had the power up, then it didn't really feel as important anymore. So it is definitely fun to have gems from enemies again. So basically, they, like it really is that they improved everything from Spyro 2. Like I don't even see what could be worse about it. Okay. Slam down on this guy, <laughs> he was ready for me, but I was even more ready for him. Nothing off this way. Okay, got it. Same thing over there. So let's grab this red gem. And where, oh, yep, we're going up here. I was gonna say, where are we going now? We're going down? Not quite. Instead, we're going up. And oh, hello, here you are, Rapunzel. What? Marco sent you here. I've got a restraining order against him. <laughs> really? All right, well, she gave us Lucy anyways. Hi, Lucy. <laughs> All right, well, there's that. Do you have anything else to say? It looked like you did. If you see Marco, please tell him I've moved out. Gotcha, I will. And then we can go back down this way, but there's no gems in it for us. Instead, we're gonna go this way. Yeah. So that was interesting. Is there anything else? Oh, it's saying that there's some gems down there. So let me just pop down like, I definitely missed something, which is good because I'm missing, now I'm missing 35 gems. Now I missed it again. Oh gosh, that's bad. Maybe it's up here? Oh, it is, hey buddy, go to these dudes. And then what is all this? Oh, there's definitely more. Ooh, secret area, nice, okay. Grabbing all this stuff and then booty slam on this one, wait. Booty slam, there it is. And that is not everything. We're missing 11 gems still. And he's saying that they're, which way? This way? Is there a platform? Oh, okay, hold on. Didn't see this before. Get up there. And then from here, back up. Huh. Okay, so. Whoa. Oh, am I, am I shortcutting it? Oh, I am, cool. So it looks like, well, did I ever get up here? I don't think I did. I do not remember this. Wait, maybe I did? No, I didn't, okay, cool. I don't know if this was not here before, but it's here now, so might as well grab it. So we're at 8.99, I just need one more gem and I know exactly where it is. Just need to run back over here and jump on these platforms. I missed it. <laughs> platforms are a little bit tough to land on. There we go, 400 out of 400. This level should be 100% complete. Awesome stuff. So with that being done, I think that's where we're gonna wrap up today's episode. But as you can see, we've gotten all three 100%. That is super cool to see. All right, so that was an awesome introduction to Spyro 3, The Year of the Dragon. I had a ton of fun with that. Like, what a positive impression. They improved on everything, and the game is as pretty as ever. So definitely in the next episode, we'll continue to complete Sunrise Spring World. Hopefully completing all of it, we'll have to wait and see. But yeah, for right now, we got Sunrise Spring, Sunny Villa, and Sheila's Alp all 100% done, so that is beautiful. But for now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Spyro the Reignited Trilogy. If you watched this for the video, make sure you comment Year of the Zebra so any of you watched at the end of the you are a Zebra-tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. At the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.